The ability to spin a book on one's finger is mildly interesting and completely useless. Right now I'm using a baking tray, but the same technique can be applied to textbooks, clipboards, random folders, and just about anything that will spin. Anyway, it's a skill I highly recommend learning. Maybe you have already, but this is how I learned to book spin. Step one, why? To understand how, I think it's important to know why. The reason I learned the reason I learned book spinning the reason I learned book spinning is very simple. I've seen two people do it in my life. One was a Jamaican guy from a documentary about Usain Bolt. The other was the YouTuber called Mike Boyd. It's good to have a bit of inspiration before you go about learning something new. I just thought it looked cool, so I decided to give it a go. Step two finding the right book. This is actually one of the hardest elements of this challenge. Finding the right book to practice with is very important for progression. You want something with a large surface area and the correct weight. The smaller you go, the harder it is to spin. Oh, my knee. Ah. Step three, practice. Sorry, but anyone will tell you, if you want to learn to book spin, you got to practice. So the way I like to spin is using my middle finger and not my index finger, placing the middle finger on the back of the book, trying to find a place of balance, and then using my left index finger, I push on the bottom corner of the book, spin it round. The last thing to do is just make a circling motion anti-clockwise. The learning curve was quite steep for me. It took a couple of days to get the knack into my muscle memory, but then a couple of weeks to fully feel in control of the weight. And that's it. After that, I was unstoppable. I had free reign to spin whatever object arrived in my hands. So yeah, that's how I learned to book spin. <laughs>